We're at Lowe's right now and we are picking up the materials that we need to build our DIY faux fake floating shelves where we're gonna put our books. So we walked into the wrong side of Lowe's so we have to walk all the way down to the other side of the store but we've got our flatbed cart thing. We've got a list. We think we know everything that we need, but inevitably we will probably forget something. So we'll keep you posted. Okay, it looks like we've got all of our supplies. We've got the lumber, we've got the corner braces, the black spray paint to paint the corner braces. We bought a stud finder, some wood screws. This is the stain that we're going to use, and then this is a little brush to put the stain on, and this is a rag to wipe the stain off, and this is a battery for the stuff finder. Oh, and we also bought, or will buy, we haven't paid for any of this yet, one of these for our tomato plant in our backyard because it is getting, getting out of hand. So this is where the area is. You come up our stairs and we have, let me see if I can back up enough. We have this whole huge insert that goes all the way up here. So I have, sh I have books on the very bottom right now, which is great, but I can't do anything else with the rest of the space. So the idea is that let me put this down. We got four shelves and they're gonna just go spaced evenly all the way up to it, the ceiling. In theory. So we have the people at Lowe's cut the wood down to the right size. And now I am going to spend the rest of the evening sanding them and then staining them and spray painting the braces. And then we'll have to let, them, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Hi. So I already forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, we're gonna have to let the shelves and the braces dry for a few days, or at least the shelves. I don't know if, you, if spray paint needs to dry for that long. So I'm gonna do it in our backyard. And then, ooh, our plum tree is looking so lovely. And then we're just gonna leave them back there to dry for a few days. And then we should be able to hang them. We're hoping to do that on Sunday. Maybe Saturday, but probably Sunday. So I'm gonna change into some rattier than this clothes and get started. So it's the next morning and we're outside right now. The sanding ended up taking a lot longer than we thought it would. So we were not able to stain last night so we're starting it early this morning so that hopefully it still has enough time to dry in order for us to be able to hang them by Sunday. So David's got the stain going right now. Let me turn you around and show you. So the color that we're using is this Ipswich Pine 221. Looks really nice, I wanted something fairly light. I think the wood itself is pine. No, it's fir. What is it? Like Douglas fir or something? Yeah, something like that. Usually they're pine, right? Yeah. But, so he's just going over all of the boards right now with a coat. And then after it sits for a little bit, you wipe it off with a rag and we did a little test board last night not board a test piece of wood and we may end up doing two coats depending on how it looks Ooh, that looks so nice 
And then we still need to spray paint the corner braces. We have all of our corner brackets laying out on the table now. We just need to spray paint them with our black spray paint. We had to remove all of the barcode stickers from them, which was a task in and of itself. We had to use Goo Gone to get all of it off. But now they are ready to be sprayed. Of course we picked the windiest day of the year to do this. Oh, yeah. getting ready to hang the first shelf. We've measured it out. Hopefully this goes well. We shall see. We're getting to the very top one and it's to a point now where <laughs> It's a little bit tricky. Our ladder is tall enough, but it's difficult for David to get up high enough to get enough leverage. So Okay, they are all up. I have no idea what on earth we could possibly use that very top shelf for. It's not like we're ever going to be able to get to it, but it's there for posterity. Oh, excuse me. And now I need to get more books. Because those are the only ones I have. No, I'm just kidding. I need to get my books and start filling these now. Okay, it has been a long day, but oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Let me see if I can get to a vantage point where you can see a good amount of it. Clearly, I need 10,000 more books, but I can't even get the entire thing in one shot. Oh my gosh. This is like... All of my Beauty and the Beast library collection dreams coming true right here. So, if you're trying to figure out what to get me for Christmas or my birthday this year, I need books. I also am not 100% sure this is exactly how I'm going to keep it styled, but I am completely pooped. I kind of have some, there's a method. Okay, so classics up here, aka the books that I'm not really ever going to touch, which is why they can be up this high. This little section is already read nonfiction. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, okay, so it's not perfectly organized yet. And then this is already read fiction. This is to read fiction, which I'm a little bit embarrassed about. Gosh, that is, I need, I, I need books, but then like, I don't need books. And then that is my to read nonfiction, which is much more manageable. And then some of them are just like books that I know I'm not gonna read, like ones that look nice. Um, yeah, I'm probably never going to read. Uh, let me come down here without falling down the stairs. Um, I'm probably never gonna read The Pillars of the Earth. 
but it's just a handsome looking book. And yeah, everything else up here I do actually probably want to read. I don't know about actually reading Jane Austen. These were just really cool, very old editions that I found at one of my favorite used bookstores. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, everything else I will probably get to eventually. This will be a lifetime project. <laughs> and then, wow. Oh, that hurts my neck. Okay, there we have it.